Good morning. I'm Lois Carrier, certified financial planner, and today we end our discussion about rules of thumb for retirement. We will cover several today, so here we go. I need to pay off my house before I retire. Not necessarily. Many people are still making house payments while retired. If you have ample money to fund your retirement without paying off your house, they don't feel pressure to pay off a loan. In today's low interest rate environment, many experts agree the money used to pay off a mortgage would be more profitable if invested in a well-diversified portfolio. Have six months of cash and savings when retired. Yes, I would suggest retirees have at least that much and to make sure their advisor is leaving at least three years of their expected retirement income invested in bonds and other investments which don't fluctuate as much as stocks. This will provide a cushion to endure downturns in the market without having to sell at losses. And then the third one, save 10% of your income into your retirement plan. That would certainly not apply to people who start saving later in life. But even early savers, I recommend saving 20% if at all possible. There may be times later in life you need to cut back. The earliest money saved will grow more than the later money that's saved. These are rules of thumb which have been around for years. Now let me share with you some of Lois's rules which come from over 20 years of experience in taking people to and through retirement and also from seeing many people who did not have successful retirements through no fault of their own. Rule number one, if it sounds too good to be true, don't do it. There are many products available that qualify for good too good to be true. Secondly, if you don't understand every tiny little detail of an investment, don't invest it. Take the information to a fee-only advisor, which means that person has no products to sell. Ask him to explain the product that you're interested in until you know exactly what it is. And the next rule, understand how the advisor you're working with is going to be paid. Make sure that you get this in writing and signed by the advisor. A great phrase is, find out who is getting paid by whom and for what. The Department of Labor's fiduciary rule is scheduled for implementation in April. If it is implemented, it should cause advisors to be totally transparent with commissions and fees and one of the oldest and my favorite ten stoffel theory of investing there is no such thing as a free lunch you've worked hard for your retirement so be careful out there okay thank you